We are back at Country Thrift. We're going one more time because my mom didn't get to go yesterday. We were just here yesterday. Uh, we're gonna see if we can still find anything after we got a ton yesterday and Dale is coming to meet us here. And then we're gonna go take mom to some quilt shops. So I might show you guys a little bit of footage from the quilt shops because I think maybe learning these patterns and seeing what they can sell for might help out. So let's go. All right, so do not forget, I was just here yesterday. Now, this was hanging up in the front wall. This was an embroidered silk piece cut out framed, and it was only $2, so I did pick that up. And then look, they put more linens back under stuff. I was wondering if they were going to do that, and they did. So I am removing them once again. I, I would be interested in knowing if the next day they did it again. Now, this piece here was actually California pottery. I believe they had it marked at six or nine, but it only comped out for about $30. And I had a lot of stuff, so I left that. But this little print was really, really cute and vintage and only $2. So I did pick that one up. And I saw another one back there with a really nice scene as well. So I got that one as well. I really love picking up the little artwork. And you see here, here I go again, removing linens from underneath breakables. This is another one of the armchair covers. That one was a dollar. Somebody told me what it was called, but I forgot already. It's a very long word. Now, these are vintage Florida salt and pepper shakers with a dolphin on them they were only a dollar and they had really small holes for the salt and pepper to go in and i was told the smaller the hole the older they are now this piece mary garcia and the premier said that if i went back the next day and got it she would buy it so i did pick that up for her and then i also saw this plate but when i flipped it over. I didn't feel like the value was going to be there. I did not look it up and that might have been a mistake, but I decided to let that one stay there. But this one was labeled the watering cart and I thought that was a really cool little print. So I did pick that one up as well. Now here I saw these plates and I did pick these up. These are Arco Rock France and I believe this is the Yucatan design and I probably should have left them. I paid $2 each. They'll only sell for about 20. This plate I really liked, but they had it marked at $6. So I did decide to leave that one there, but this one was a vintage brass with a really, really pretty painted scene and it was pink, which meant it was half off. So it was only $1.50 and I decided to get that one. And again, remember was just here yesterday. Now these are really, really heavy, well-made glasses. They are $2 each. They have the celestial sun on them. And those I decided to pick up. I could not so find I anything like the on them, but they really are just really, really well really made and fast. marked in the and USA. we are at Country Gift and Thrift in Gap, Pennsylvania. This glass says Culver USA. This is a moon and stars. It doesn't sell for much, but it's such a pretty little glass. It was marked at three. It should sell for about 12 now, when you guys last saw the video when I was here, a couple of you said that you did well with spoons. Some of you said you did not, but enough said they did that it made me go back and pick these up. They were $5 for the bag, so I'm going to be less than 50 cents a spoon in. And I did pick up this last bag as well, but it was not priced and the manager wanted ten dollars for it instead of five like the other two so i did end up leaving it behind if it had been five dollars i would have got it but at ten i felt that was too much and look at this pretty little westmoreland kitty cat glass plate but it was marked seven dollars which again was too high it's only worth about 12 to 15. so a lot of you have asked and i really do love the glass 
but it honestly, in my experience, is pretty rare to find it often at thrift stores, at least in the areas I go to. So that's why I tend to pick up more of the linens and other vintage stuff because that's more available. Now, these little charmer toothpicks, it, it was new in the box. It's like a vintage old stock. I did look these up. I believe it was $2 for these. And you can see here they sell for about 11 to $12 and they're really, really cute. So I decided to go ahead and pick those up. Now, here I'm seeing more linen under things and I'm like, okay, we got to get it. So here I go pulling it out. Really, really pretty design on this one. It was only $2, so definitely a good pickup there. And look, I found more of the Celestial Moon glasses or sun, Celestial Sun, I think. Mm. Maybe it's the sun. All right, so I got those two glasses. And then here I'm looking at this really, really pretty scarf. And it was branded. And with those really big, bright, bold colors, that is something that I pick up. So we decided to get that one. And then the only other scarf I saw this day was this Jacqueline Farrar. Really, really pretty striped pattern on this. And the floral with the gold accent so that one again it kind of has fall colors so i think that'll do well and then i saw this little cameo brooch so i did look at the jewelry a little bit the second day where i didn't the first i think i picked up three or four pieces so i picked up that cameo and then i saw this really pretty little hand painted rose enamel vintage brooch and that was it marked at 250 and everything was 30 percent off for the jewelry Really, really pretty glass swirl pendant there. So we got that. And then upstairs, look, I found a matching Here I am another silk embroidered dunk framed print wave pattern. Now they had the punch bowl and cups marked at 20 and it sells for about 79 to 80. And I thought about picking it up, but it would be about $40 profit. And I decided not to get it because shipping that thing would be very difficult. So we are going to just let it stay there. Now they were really, really pretty. So I did, I had to, I did have to think pretty hard as far as whether to get it or not. Now here we are upstairs and this is a quilt block pattern and it did have some of the blocks with it. And it looks like it sold for $16.99. It was $2. That stuff's really easy to photograph, list and ship. So I did pick that up. And then I saw this little cross stitch kit. It was complete with the thread and it was pink, which meant it was half off. So I did decide to get that one as well. So always check in your craft section for sure for stuff. Now here's some cross stitch fabric and these I typically only pick up if they're colored or really big pieces and those both were. Now these were gorgeously done quilted pillows they were not finished so they needed to be turned right side out stuffed and the center done so my mom actually said she can work on completing that and we did pick up four of them for only a dollar fifty but it is an absolutely beautiful pattern and I was really happy to find that now here I was looking at a jeans comforter kit it had patches and pieces of jeans but they wanted $20, so I decided to leave that. But this cool embroidery kit, and it did look like it was complete, was only, I believe, $5, and it looks like it comps out for about $40. You can see one that's listed here. And then this had a large piece of fabric to finish for the cross stitch. I think it was only 50 cents, so I did decide to get that one as well. So when they have the complete kit and fabric, then I will pick them up if they're lower cost. And these two little kits were only 50 cents. They will probably sell for about 10 to 12, but I am okay with that from 50 cents. And again, really small, very easy to photograph, list, and ship. 
Now, this one looked like it had already been used and it was just the pattern, so I put that back. Now, these two pillowcases were actually Pier 1. They were very, very thick indoor-outdoor fabric, and they were only $2 each. I believe those will sell for about $40 for the pair. And then we saw these really, really cute bathroom cross stitches. There's one with a little boy, one with a little girl. And those are the last two pieces that we picked up here. So now we're going to head to another thrift store. So I got more the second time than I did the first time. And we are now, we saw an antique store. We are in Intercourse, Pennsylvania. So we have Dale with us now and we are going to go check it out. So when we were driving by the store, I saw it said antiques and gifts. So I thought I would check it out because I wasn't sure what was in here. Now, once I walked in, I saw it was almost all like new made to look vintage items. So we did not stay in here long, but Dalton found some organic puppy dog bones for the puppies. So he got one for each of the puppies and he is going to bring them home. He is showing them to you. All right, then we decided to walk down the sidewalk. Now, this is the woodshed and this has a sign inside that said it's the oldest store in Intercourse, Pennsylvania. So we're gonna go inside and I didn't get much here, but I think the store's cool, so I wanna show you guys. So they have a ton of handmade items here, both fabric as well as this really cool ironwork. So they had iron trivets. These were all new, but they were locally crafted. And I think it was really cool. I think a lot of this was made by the Amish. And of course it was not priced where I could use it for resale, but keep an eye out for trivets. I wanted to show you guys those. My mom did end up buying some fabric here. So they actually had actual fabric, fabric for sale as well. And here there are some antiques kind of sprinkled in and we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you those as well. This cute little hen on the nest was marked at 20. So probably right at what you could get for it if you were reselling it. But this store was just really, really cool. This is an older building and it was really nice. Now we did see these squares squirrel feeders which were pretty cool they're made where the squirrel goes in the jar to get the treats and then you can watch them and dale did get one of those now here i absolutely love these dutch um little stickers but i didn't get any of them just because they wouldn't really fit into my house but i thought they were really cool so i wanted to show you guys and then dale was showing me some really cool cross stitch towels and i love this grape little trivet there and i found those thrifting so keep an eye out now this is priced just a dollar this is a blue fenton shoe and it's because it has a chip and i wasn't seeing it so i told dale i'm like it's only a dollar but i don't see the chip well the issue was the chip was on the opposite side so dale's like oh there it is so Luckily, Dale pointed out to me and it was a decent sized chip, but it was on the back side. So for only a dollar, I think that was a good pickup. And then look at this really cool Christmas tree skirt made of old ties. I have never seen anything like that. And I think that is such an awesome idea. I looked to see if there were any on eBay and there weren't, but people were using that as keywords in lots of ties. Now here, the quilt patterns framed, I've sold small pieces of those for good money. That's what I was telling Dale. So $45 on that was a great price. Unfortunately, did not have space for that in my car. And look at these amazing stained glass windows. Absolutely beautiful. And I was pointing out to Dale, there was a tollware trash can down on the floor, but it was priced at about retail. And I wanted to show you guys these really, really cool needlepoint pillows and the horseshoes they were just so so pretty again priced at retail but you can definitely still appreciate the work gone into those and look at these trivets i think they were 25 or 30 but they were so awesome i almost got one and here is a sign stating it's the oldest store in intercourse and it was originally a wagon shop and here we are 
walking up to Emma Gut Pretzels to have lunch where Dagny Flying Pig Thrifts recommended. And now we are walking into Zook's Fabric. We did go here for my mom. The quilt show was a little smaller than expected, but if you see here, my mom has a lot to show real quick. They have parking for the horse and buggies for the Amish at the thrift store. All right, this is another huge store. I absolutely love this little ladybug sign, but I didn't have room for it and I don't know where I would put it. I was showing Dale that little shelf was only four dollars, but I bet it would sell well on Etsy. And then I didn't see anything in the cup section. I do always look and I love this little painted bowl, but there was actually quite a bit of paint chipped off the flowers. So I decided to leave that. But these cute little fire king, this little bowl and plate were only a dollar each. And I did decide to get those. And then I saw some coasters down here on the bottom. These are coaster stone and they have little lemons and they were only two dollars those should sell for about 15 to 20. coasters is another item i always look for and pick up a lot and look at this angry owl he was only two dollars he is super super cute i think he was a napkin holder yeah he's a napkin holder and then look at this this is so cute this is a little uh bag holder like for your grocery bags and it was only three dollars and i was like dale why did you not get this i thought she had looked at this rack but it turns out she had not yet looked through this rack so here we go with linens again this is a beautiful table runner or dresser scarf three dollars with the beautiful doves on it so i did grab that one and then here's another one with a really pretty floral basket and that i think might have been a kitchen towel so i definitely picked that up and beautiful butterflies with lace probably a dresser scarf that one was only three dollars so we are again hitting a linen jackpot you are gonna see a lot i love this with the lady and i was more impressed with the four inch long kind of crochet border there very very intricate and pretty and this is almost like a quilt pattern on it and that one was only three and then there was this pillowcase with the flowers. So we got that as well. Now this one was really pretty, but the edges weren't finished very well. And I saw quite a few spots there. So I did decide to leave that one there. But again, another one with extensive like lace borders, only $2. So I got that one as well. And... <laughs> There is more. There is so much linen here. Another really pretty floral basket. But if you see there, the edges are pretty rough on that one. That is why I put that one back. So I'm trying to have a little bit of restraint with the linens. Because I have one a little overboard. But you're going to see way more overboard here shortly. This was a really, really nice set of four napkins with little rosebuds on the corners. So I did get that. Here is another one with a really wide crochet border, really pretty with the bow and the flowers. That one was $2. And then here, I absolutely love this with the butterfly cut out in the middle. That one was really, really pretty. Not sure why I didn't get it. I put it back. And then here, this one has like blue daisies. I love this one. Eyes of Blue with the little kitten. That is a kitchen towel. That one was absolutely lovely. And then this Pagoda one was as well. So you, you can see my basket is full. But yet, I'm getting more. Really, really pretty work on that one. And then I saw this pillow and it actually, it looks better on camera than it did in person. In person, it looked really, really faded. So I was very, very on the fence about that one. And I did decide to leave it there. It was only $3, but it just kind of looked washed out in person. And I want to show you guys this little hobnail piece was $15. So that is why I do look for this stuff, but a lot of thrift stores it is overpriced so you have to find the stuff that your stores undervalue and it might be class it might be linens it might be clothes you've got to look at what your store does now this whole basket 
is full of handkerchiefs and they are only a dollar. So we're going to be here for a minute. Now you're going to see that I'm putting the plain ones back. They did have some designs, but those are a little harder to keyword, but like the pretty blue and red flowers there, easy to keyword. Another one really pretty red. So if you watch here, you'll see what I'm picking out. And all of these were only a dollar. Quite a few had the really pretty scalloped edge. This one here, it did have a name on it, but I think that will come off. But look at the really pretty pink and gray flowers. So I was sitting. I decided to sit in the rocking chair next to it because I knew I was going to be there for a minute. And here's one with poinsettias. And again, you have to dig. If you notice, I'm digging. On top, you see a lot of plain. I was showing Dale, I had to like throw them. Now, blue roses, scalloped edge. I, in my head here, am thinking, okay, how am I going to keyword these? Like if I get this handkerchief, how would I keyword it? Those bandanas were made in China, so I left them. There's a monogram pink rose with the letter E. Now, the monogram ones can actually sell for more. There's another monogram. This is actually petite point. Tiny, tiny cross stitching with that rose and a monogram of an M. And here are some really pretty violets. So think of your keywords when you see these hankies. Like, what am I going to use to describe this handkerchief that somebody can find it and buy it? Again, really pretty scalloped edge with little blue flowers. This one is absolutely gorgeous with pink and the floral bouquet. Again, this one is embroidery. It looks like purple, either irises or orchids. I probably would put both in my title. And again, look at these. Look at the bright colors. I just grabbed all of them and said, okay, I'll take them. Now, I'm not taking all. You can see I'm being picky here, but I would find little pockets of the brightly colored ones. And when I found those, I was throwing them in the buggy. I don't even know how many I got. I would say probably between 25 and 40. And here is pretty holly with the candy cane. That one was embroidered. And then another scallop edge with roses. Yellow roses always do well for me, I think, because they're not seen as well. So I definitely would recommend picking those up. And then this hibiscus one is really, really pretty. Those are ones that I'm going to list probably at about $20, most of these. Again, purple with the daisies, scallop edge. Another monogrammed one here i'm opening it up to show you it is monogrammed with an e those do sell don't pass them over if you see the monogrammed ones another monogrammed with an e here this one was a really really delicate one i like that one and then look here pretty pretty purple embroidered flowers another embroidered monogram one with the e and blue roses monogram of m this one was another petite point cross stitch one and that's a lot of work so that's probably going to be about a 30 dollar hanky that's going to be more expensive now the stamp designs will be about 15 to 20 dollars i also saw these two new boxes of vintage men's monogrammed handkerchiefs they were three dollars a box they'll probably sell for about 15 to 20 dollars which isn't too too bad so i did pick those up as well and you can see little teapot so so cute that one was a cross stitch one there's another one and i believe i found a piece to match them downstairs you'll see here in a little bit so I basically kept turning this over and over to make sure I found everything. And now we are done. I wanted to show you. They have eBay price and our price on some of those items. So don't let that necessarily scare you away because you see all those handkerchiefs I just got and they're a ton of money. I wanted to show you this amazing needlepoint settee because if I had been local, that would have been an absolutely amazing piece to pick up. And either ship via freight you ship or 
you could do local pickup. Now, this piece was absolutely amazing and it was only $5, but when I looked closer, it was missing quite a bit of paint. And I had to show you all these baskets. I did not get any of them. None of them really caught my eye, but just a massive, massive amount of baskets. Now I look for like tight weed, pine weedles, and they say you can never have enough baskets. And here you see Dale, also known as Flippin' Fiasco here on YouTube. She's using Google Lens to try and identify that Mickey Mouse plush. And Dalton was over there playing with some toys. I love that turtle, but I did not get him. He was on cardboard is why. And I absolutely love this Native American doll, but I believe she was priced at six and I think she would only sell for 20. Now, this is an ab roller. And if you see, these things sell for $50. And it was the same one. And I did put it in my cart, but I ended up putting it back. I did also get this beautiful painted trinket box and wait till you see the prices on these sheets this is a flannel set and you'll see here I'm gonna take a pillowcase out because I do want to see the brand but they are only two dollars for the whole set two bucks two dollars is really hard to resist on a whole pair of sheets especially flannel ones now I pulled out the pillowcase so that I could see if I could find the brand. The pillowcases are typically a little bit easier to find them on rather than the sheets and I didn't want to pull full sheets out of there. So here you can see this one the brand is Sonoma and I did look up some comps. These are Williams Sonoma sheets so I'm gonna have to do a little research because I'm not sure if they're the same or if you guys can tell me but these had like the moose and really, really cabin feel. So I'll be able to keyword them well. And for only $2, I had to pick those sheets up. And I believe I got one other set of sheets. Now I'm showing you again, we are in the elevator. I'm trying to get out of the elevator. <laughs> um, Dale and I both fit on the elevator together. So Dalton loved riding the elevator at all of these stores. And now Dale is telling me where to go for things. And I did look at this quilt and it actually was $70. So I decided to leave that one there. Now, this was a Book of Kells scarf and they sell for about 12 to $15. I was telling Dale because I had looked them up before. And the hard thing with the scarves here is they were all priced at $4.19, which makes it pretty hard to flip because most scarves in general are going to sell for $15 to $20 unless you find a big name brand or a really cool print. So we actually did not spend too much time on the scarves. And then here they had wallets and small purses. I saw this really, really cute leather purse and it was only two dollars so i definitely had to get that it was i think it was jamaica trying to remember i had to go show dale how cute it was for only two dollars so we are sharing our finds with each other and look there was more linen upstairs and i don't typically pick up doilies i'm not a doily person but look at those pansies this was three dollars but this was absolutely amazing i had to pick it up had to pick it up same with this one like a little fruit basket centerpiece really wide crocheted border had to get that and this i think matched some of my napkins that i got downstairs pretty sure it did all right let's look at some pottery I thought about getting this one. It was $3, but I had some other ones that took forever to sell. But look at this sea turtle, butterfly, really, really cool vase. I picked that one up for $3. Now look at this. This is Mola. Now I did pay $15, but I think I can get over $100 for that parrot print. And here are some pillowcase kits, $3. They are stamped pillowcases. They'll probably sell for about 20 to 25, so not bad. Again, this is a different thrift store, but we are in the craft section. Do not pass up the craft section when you're at the thrift store. This was a little pillow kit, but it was unfortunately opened and I wasn't sure what was missing. 
Now, these I wanted to show you because these are Mill Hills. It is mostly beaded kits, but it was open. And they actually had four or five of them, and they were all open, which really sucks because those kits sell for $15 to $25. So I kept looking. I was really hoping to find one that was complete, but I did not. Now, I did, again, here are more. I, I did not get any. I probably could have put some of them together, but I think they were like $2 each and that just wouldn't be worth it. But look at all of this craft stuff. If you're a crafter, go get your supplies at the thrift store. They're so much cheaper there. Now, I wanted to show you guys this because I sold a blue cobalt clut to clear vase for over $800, but mine was marked with an M for Meisner. So if you see me slowly turning it around, what I am doing is trying to see if I can find a signature. And now I'm showing Dale my little Mola piece because I was so happy that I found that. So I did not see a marking. So that was priced at $10 and I decided to leave it there. Still so happy with my Mola piece. I'm like, this is money. That's what I was telling Dale. This is money. And Dale actually got some, a cool vase off of the top shelf there. And then I saw this cute little Intuit Kids family that was like a little print. And I did pick that one up because they were just too cute. And this little great horned owl on glass. That was only a dollar. So I think that'll sell for about 10 to 15 and look at this cute glass elephant, art glass elephant, little note or paper holder, $3. Definitely a good buy. He should go for about 15 to 20. And I love this print. It really, really stood out to me. It was signed, but they had it marked $12 and I just was not comfortable paying that much. This is their beach themed room. This is a Coco K glass picture frame. For only two dollars i think that'll sell for 20 to 25 and i loved this with the colorful canoes but at six dollars i felt that was just a little bit more than i wanted to pay for that and i just wanted to show you guys how amazing their beach room was this is the end i hope you guys enjoyed i will see you tomorrow night at eight for my live show i will be joined by larry lafferty and jimmy over at old school flips so we will see you guys tomorrow night at eight and i will do a what sold video on wednesday have a great night guys